7-5 victory for the Steel against Central Illinois. You guys pick up two points tonight. Now the magic number is one. Um, obviously trailing at the second intermission. What was the focus going into the third period? Well, we knew we had a power play to start, so uh, we wanted our power play to capitalize, and they did. I thought it was important. We got out and got to a good start, but this team's been a third-period team all year. There's a lot of fight in that locker room and a lot of perseverance, and uh, we struck early, and unfortunately they came back and got one right back. And again, we showed how resilient we are and, and our firepower. I mean, we can score, uh, so we were pretty confident, and it was just effort, energy, and willingness to find a way to win. Of course, uh, 12 combined goals, kind of a, a back and forth game. Now a rematch tomorrow night. Uh, one is the magic number. No help from Des Moines here tonight. Um, but controlling your own destiny going into the final game, how big is that? It's huge. It's something that we want, we've been talking about. We want to be able to dictate what happens with our season and control our own destiny, and we have that opportunity. Uh, hopefully it's not as uh, stressful as today's was, but they have nothing to lose over there. I thought they played very well, too. Um, you know, they have offensive firepower and they have some guys on their team that can play. So it's going to be a tough, it's going to be a tough game on the road. You know, they're just going to say, hey, let's try and win our last one here at home and ruin our season and build for their next season and feel good about themselves as the season ends. So it's going to be an uphill battle for our guys and uh, it's going to be a tough test. Obviously, seven goals, tons of points for this team tonight. But uh, that line with Master Simone, Abrazizi and Dugan putting up a combined eight points tonight. Can you just talk about the chemistry you saw from those three? Yeah, I thought they mixed well together. I thought they were really good. Uh, I thought they created, and I thought they played simple for as many points as they had. It was simple. Like, I mean, you have the, the Jack Dugan end-to-end, -end and, and he scores on a beautiful play. But, you know, Master Simone was chipping pucks by D, going and getting them, playing below the goal line. Uh, they worked extremely hard for their points. Those points didn't come easy. Uh, Master Simone's goal, he goes to the net, the hard areas. He gets a great pass from Hutch in his first game. So just overall, those guys did the right things to be successful. And um, some of our other guys didn't. And some of our other guys, you know, got some points other ways, but I thought that line did everything the right way in order to be successful.